What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we've got a nice easy lesson. We're looking at how to add three digits to a one digit number which does not involve bridging. Let's jump into it. Okay, so today we're going to look at these two questions. We have 452 add 5 and 463 add 6. And we're going to follow these steps. Our first step says that we're going to use column labels. We're going to see what that means in a minute. And step two says start with our smallest value. So let's begin and let's think about what this first sentence means. Use column labels. Well, when we're putting these questions into columns, we need to make sure that we put the numbers in the right column. And the way we're going to do that is by understanding the value of each number. So first, let's look at this 452. Well, 452, our 2 is in our 1s column. Our 5 is in our 10s column. And our 4 is in our 100s column. And we're adding it to a 5, which is only in the 1s column. Now, when I'm setting up my place value chart, I can put 100s, 10s, and 1s, because we have nothing bigger than 100 and nothing less than 1s. And now I'm going to start with the 452. And I can see that I have a 2 in the 1s column, so I need to put my 2 in the 1s column. I have a 5 in the 10s column, so I put the 5 in the 10s column. And a 4 in the 100s column, so I put the 4 in the 100s column. Now I can look at my 5, and I see that that's in the 1s column. So I'm going to put it here underneath the 2. Now this is where a lot of people could make a mistake, because we're so used to looking from left to right, that some people put the 5 all the way over here. And we know that's not right because that's saying that this 5 is now in the hundreds column representing 500, which it's not. It's only a 5. So let's put it back in the ones column. Now I can put my equals line for my answers, put my addition sign to make sure I remember that I'm adding, and I can begin. Now I can look at my second instruction. It says start with the smallest value. So where's the smallest value here? Well, our smallest value is our 1s. 1s are smaller than 10s and are smaller than 100s. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2 to 5. Now if I don't know how to do that, I can use my number line. So I'm going to set up a number line just here. And I'm going to put 0 on this side. 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now when using my number line, I'm going to start with the top number. And my question was two add five. So I'm going to start on two, and I'm going to make five jumps. One, two, three, four, five, leaving me on seven. So two plus five equals seven. Now my next question, there's a five in the tens column and nothing in the next row. So I could put this little placeholder 0 here, and 5 add 0 is obviously 5. And same thing for the next one, my hundreds column, I have a 4 and nothing, so I could put the placeholder 0, 4 add 0 is of course 4. Therefore, my answer to 452 plus 5 equals 457. Let's look at this next one, and I'm going to do this a little bit quicker. So I have 463 plus 6. Well, my 463, I can see I have the 3 in the 1s, the 6 in the 10s, and the 4 in the 100s column. And then the 6 on its own over here would just be a 1. Therefore, now I can put my 100s, 10s, and 1s. And I can look at this first number, 463, and see I have 3 1s, 6 10s, and 4 100s. And my second number, the number 6 on its own, I have 6 1s. Put my equals line and my add sign. And again, start from my smallest value, which is my 1s column. And this time I'm not going to use a number line. I'm going to look at 3 add 6. And I'm going to do that on my fingers. 3 add 6 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I get an answer of 9. Now in the 10s column, I have this 6 add a 0, because there's nothing in the other row. 6 add 0 is, of course, 6. And again, my hundreds column, 4 add 0 leaves me with 4. So my answer to 463 plus 6 equals 
and 69. Easy. Let's look at what to remember. Always begin by putting the column labels. This is going to help you put the numbers in the correct place and not make any small mistakes. Then we're going to insert the numbers by putting the smallest value in line first. And then we're going to begin adding from the smallest value. Okay, your turn. Have a go at working out these two questions. Find a piece of paper, sit and take your time, and put your answers in the comment section. I'm going to try and mark them all. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel and follow the progress as we go through every aspect of maths. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.